must stop the production of new clones if we are to win this war. I am a hero of heroic cyborg General Grievous. <laughs> Grease is not cruel, Grease is not malicious. <laughs> Action to Grease is our heroic as he back it doesn't. Hey guys, it's General Grievous here on the Factual Clone Wars, and today on this new video we're going to be talking about Grievous' heroic personality as a cyborg, and we're going to be talking about the Warlord personality too. But before we get into that, as you already know, Grievous is here on Star Wars Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith, and that has always been proven as a fact, and we're going to be talking about the heroic personality of Grievous, which is already, you know, his actions are already heroic heroic and we already know but we're talking about his personality of also what makes him a hero not just his heroic actions but his personality so first we're going to start off with the warlord days on Kali, Grievous was named Kimian Jai Shila, and he was a warlord who had no mercy or compassion whatsoever for his enemies. He toppled nations, slain legends, and killed kings on his planet. The love of conquest ran through his veins during this time. When the Kali slaughter happened, Kimian fought for the love of his people and grew hatred of the Jedi for slaughtering his innocent people. He became the true hero to his homeworld as the fellow Kalish worshipped him like a demigod. Kimi would not know he would later become a hero not only to his people, but for the galaxy as well. When in his cybernetic body, Kimian was gone and Grievous was born. As General Grievous, he is known to be a heroic being, as he chose to become a cyborg for only two goals, rid the galaxy of the Sinister Jedi, and be the leader of the most powerful droid army the galaxy has ever seen. Despite fighting for the Confederacy of Independence Systems, Grievous hates the Clone Wars and only joined for his reasons of killing Jedi and not Dooku's political reasons, he even kept the war going so he can kill more Jedi. Grievous also showed a certain amount of attachment to Gore, his pet Rogwar, who he doted while all housing on his lair of the third moon of Basic. Grievous was visibly angered when the evil Kit Fisto killed Gore, citing it as another evil action which the Jedi Order would pay dearly as they already committed genocide on his people. He also seemed to have a kind of a bond with his caregiver droid EVA4D, though Grievous did snap and shout at him from time to time, he allowed the medical droids to criticize and even insult him without tearing him apart as he would with any other droid in a similar situation. Grievous cared about innocence, such as his people and others in the galaxy as they were being murdered by the Je Jedi Knights. Grievous is also known for his ruthlessness as a hero, and he will not use mercy on his enemies as seen when he engaged Fisto Nadar in his lair and on the clone base of Kamino. Grievous knows his place in the Clone Wars as he is a wrathful and friendly hero. He knows he is a hero for the galaxy and a hero to his homeworld, Kamino. Grievous can also be very wrathful and this raffle side has only shown when Jedi and Gungans wronged him. He has sent holograms of captured villains and stated that he only lived to see the evil die. And this heroic raffle side is only seen if others wrong him, but it makes villains beware of Grievous' wrath. On the battlefield, Grievous is a very calculating and ingenious tactician, knowing very good ground tactics and space tactics. On the ground, Grievous knows how to command his heroic forces, and in space, he is the hyperspace master, calculating every planet of the Sinister Republic and invading it with his heroic fleets. Besides that, Grievous is also an excellent pilot, and can pilot any craft such as his Solus One fighter craft, or an evil Kamino in ship, which he stole during the third battle of Kamino. He is very courageous in battle, leading his droid army in the front and sometimes plays the behind the scenes hero role as seen when he commands the battles from the landing craft instead of full on fighting them. In space, Grievous does the same, keep his royal command ship in the back while let his smaller forces do the work. When in battle, the heroic Grievous is always determined to win against his sinister foes and will always foil the evil plans of the Jedi. 
for Grievous's dislikes. He dislikes the Jedi, the Sith, Dooku, Ventress, Krell, Nadar, Obi-Wan, etc., and the Republic due to them aiding the Jedi and killing his people on Kali and being crazy towards everyone. While he hates the Sith for not being trustworthy, Grievous has respect for the Sith only for being warriors and not cowards like the Jedi. Grievous utterly hates the Jedi and their evil order for committing genocide on his people when he was a warlord. He exploited the Jedi's compassion. Stones, you may be, but the Force resides in all life forms. Use it you can to quiet your mind. The care of these Jedi show for their troops is a weakness. For the clone troopers under their command, exemplified during his attack on the Kaleido Shoals medical station, what also fueled the heroic general's rage was the entire Jedi Order hated him for no reason and wanted him dead, which forced Grievous to fight other Jedi, such as Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano. Another dislike of General Grievous is he dislikes lies and tricks, as a heroic general has been tricked before by many villains. He has an intense rivalry with the evil Obi-Wan Kenobi as Obi-Wan started the rivalry when Grievous first met the infamous General Kenobi on the Malevolence. Grievous constantly wants to kill Kenobi face to face any chance he gets as he would even have traps set up for other Jedi just so he can face the Sinister Kenobi himself. Grievous had almost killed Obi-Wan various times and the Sinister Kenobi just wants Grievous dead for no reason much like his Padawan Anakin. There was one time where the hero Grievous showed mercy and honor as he spared Kenobi on Caliban. Grievous then forced the Sinister Kenobi and his clones to build a bridge so heroes and the villains, the Republic, can escape. Kenobi refused, saying that there were some galactic accords, saying that Grievous couldn't force prisoners to work, but that was outlawed by the Nojini Convention in Star Wars, meaning Grievous' hero could do whatever he wanted and still be a hero. He has been treated badly by Newt Gunray, Count Dooku, Watt Tambor, and other CIS members such as his own driver battle droids. He also cares for battle droids as he chose to leave them in the Clone Wars, but he loses his patience with the droids for their stupid, annoying, and sassy actions as he has been known to destroy them by smacking their heads off, cutting them in half, or smacking them off ledges. Count Dooku usually calls him out on it. Later, he started caring about his droids as they were helping him in some cases and started slapping them less as they were improved from the early part of the war. He tends to do a lot of heroic laughs throughout the Clone Wars and canon as seen various times. And yep, there is Grievous' heroic personality in Star Wars Ken. I hope you guys enjoyed it because, you know, we're only going to tell you the truth about Grievous' heroic personality. We're not going to listen to no Wikipedia. We're not going to listen to no biased sources and all that stuff because those are not facts to prove Grievous is some in quotation villain because those are biased sources and those aren't even true to Grievous' heroic character. We're going to tell you the real personality of the rogue cyborg General Grievous. We're not going to tell you no made up stuff just to fit people's opinions. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this one. Like, subscribe, share if you're new, and you already know General Grievous here, the Fashion Clone Wars is famous for quote, I've been looking forward to meeting you, and remember, I have a personality of a hero, as a cyborg, as I do heroic actions. Remember that. Have a good day, y'all. Always remember that Grease is here. That's a fact and not an opinion. Keep it factual, keep it real, be smart like me, and don't be stupid. I'm out.